Hi, I'm Deb from Louisville Public Library, and today we're going to make painted rocks. I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little ladybug to put in your garden, or you can also make a mandala. So the first thing that you need to do is go outside and look for a smooth river rock. You might find them around your house and your landscaping or if you go to a park or go out on a hike or something um, make sure you don't take anything that where you're not supposed to but I'm sure you'll be able to find a few smooth rocks then bring them home scrub them really good with soap and water and then let them dry completely and then you're ready to paint these are some of the things that you'll need. Some craft paint. This is acrylic craft paint that I had laying around and a sharpie. Also your nice clean dry rock and then different sizes of paint brushes depending on what you're going to paint. Um, I like using tin foil or aluminum foil to make a bowl to put my paint in. So I just make a little bowl but of course you can just squirt it onto the paper or whatever. Um, shake your paint up really good especially if it's old like mine was, and then put a nice thick thorough coat of paint onto your rock. Let it dry. If you put it in the sun, it'll dry really fast. And then when it's completely dry, put on another coat of paint. So it has a nice thick coat of paint on the top. Then you're ready to put on the wings in the spot. Grab a Sharpie or a pencil and draw, figure out like where you want his head to be. I think that maybe right here will be good and then draw a little half moon for his head and then a stripe line for the um, two wings and then at the very back of him do like curved lines so it makes a little V at the back of the wings. And then if you had if I had black paint, I would have just painted this with black paint, but I didn't have any, so I just colored it in with Sharpie. And once we have the head colored, we colored the little V in the back and add the spots. And you can add as many of you why you can do big spots or little spots, whatever you think looks cute. And then we're going to put on some antenna. I'm going to put one like straight line on the top of his head with a little curl at the end on one side and then do it again on the other side. going to make eyes. Again, if I had white paint, I would have just put two dots of white paint on there, but um, I have happened to have this Sharpie white paint pen, and so that's what I'm going to use, but just acrylic paint would work too. So just make, this will be the white of his eyes. So make two round, pretty good sized circles for his eyes. And then after that dries completely, either black paint or a sharpie and put two black dots on there and I put it kind of to the top and to the side so it looks like he's looking up if he's down in a garden bed or something it looks like he's looking up at you it makes him kind of cute and there's our little ladybug Now you can put some Mod Podge on there to seal the um, paint a little better. So I just put a coat on there, it goes on looking kind of white but it dries clear. And if you have it, you could put a clear coat sealer, a spray on sealer, like Rust-Oleum clear sealer. And that will really protect them from the weather and from water. Some acrylic paints are self-sealing, so you won't need any sealer at all. Self-sealing paints that you could look for are like folk art outdoor paint or folk art multi-surface paint. Any paint that says self-sealing or outdoor on it is a good bet. Now, if you don't have any paint at all at home, you
you could just use Sharpies. I'm going to make a little gift for someone that says smile on it. If you put the middle letter in the middle of the rock and then add the other letters, it'll make your words centered on the rock. I'm going to decorate the edges with some flower petals. So this is a really simple craft to make with just a rock and a sharpie. And it'd be a really lovely thing to give to somebody or to hide in their garden to find later. Here is one I made with just sharpie and a rock. It's a mandala and I just drew some designs in the circular pattern with a sharpie. Thanks for doing Painted Rocks with me today. For other fun projects, check out, check out Louisville Public Library's YouTube channel or our Facebook page. See you next time!